what's up guys and welcome to a new video today I'm going to show you how you can use the dashware app to create a perfect overlay for your cycling video dashware is a comp is a bit a different app than uh, Garmin verb and I personally personally really like this application because because the fact that you can create your own gauges I will create a video in the future where I will explain how to create your own gauges the first thing you want to do is to make a, co a complete video of all your single clips you shoot when you were cycling that's the that's basically the first step when you put all these files together you can afterwards change some color settings with the metric color for example so your video looks a little bit better personally I like to slide all the slides a little bit backwards and increase the exposure a little bit I have my camera underneath my uh, bike computer mount so everything is filmed upside down and that's of course not how you want to show your video so select all your clips and give them with the effects a little flip so your video will be upright again and that's of course what you want and now it's time to export your clip so you can use your clip in dashware Now it's time to open Dashware. I will leave a download link in the description so you can find the official download page of this program. The program looks a little bit old but it functions very well I think. Uh, so first you have to create a new project. I will call my project Endurance uh, Ride because that's what I did yesterday so you get this overlay from the application self I don't recommend to use that overlay it's way more fun to create your own overlay so now you have to select the clip that you just made with your video editing tool so you have this nice video of all the clips now you have to go to Strava and you have to download the dot fit or the .tcx file of your activity so I go to my activity of yesterday and I go to the three dots and I select export tcx because that's the file type that dashware supports now you can go back to dashware and select your downloaded file with all the data just, just press add now you can go to gauge tools on the right top corner of the screen here you can uh, choose your uh, here you can choose the gauges you want to use so for me I will use something I created myself I will make a video about how to create these gauges I told earlier this video I will add a map here uh, oops um, I will also add my heart rate data and my power data and a speed gauge and I want to add a cadence gauge so I'm gonna go with this gauge and with this cadence gauge make them a bit bigger also very easy with dashware now we have to fix the map because the map is not showing up how it should show up that's caused by that my uh, ride is uh, specified as a closed circuit ride 
I think I have to search where, where I can change this option. Yeah, right there I can change it. Well, that looks way, way better. Now the video is almost ready. The only thing that has to be done is synchronization of the data with the video. So choose a point on the video uh, where you know exactly where you are. So you can slide this slider and go to the exact same spot on the map and click on sync with video and now your video and your data has had the synchronization it may not be perfect but you can change this slider slightly a little bit check with the video if your data is showing up at the right moment I think I didn't do it perfectly so I might have to change my synchronization a little bit here I'm riding slightly upon a hill so my power should go up to 300 watts or something like that but uh, yeah that's a little bit too late so I'm going to do my synchronization few seconds forward so it will be better so a little bit trial and error and you will find the right synchronization for your video well that's still not perfect so I will will uh, synchronize it again and just a few a few seconds ahead so I'm not changing too much the location on the map and I will try again hopefully now it's better well it already looks way better because now it's zero yeah this looks awesome so now on the hill we will see if it's perfect yeah that looks fine to me so this is how to synchronize your video now you're done with this you can just export your video go to your video editing software and go edit your video further if you want to well that's how to use dashware I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will as I said create a video uh, on how to create your own gauges thank you guys for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed my video and leave a like and subscribe to my channel it would help me a lot and I'll see you in the next one